Hello, my name is Sarah Ayan and I'm a PhD student at the Ruhr University Bochum in Germany in the area of logic, which is an interdisciplinary field between philosophy, mathematics and computer science. In my research group, I must say that I've never been discriminated against or treated in any way differently for being a woman. But there is one story that I would like to share. In the research community of logic, women are definitely still very underrepresented. And for that reason, my PhD supervisor always tried to, have, um, to actively keep a gender balance when hiring new PhD students. When I was in my second year of the PhD, I went to an international conference to give a talk and afterwards two persons from the audience approached me and told me that they had been very keen uh, to see my talk because there was a person at their university who had been applying for my PhD position too and who after having been rejected started spreading the rumor about me that I actually was not competent in logic at all and that I only got this position because I was a woman. Yeah, to be honest, that was kind of a shock for me to hear that a person who I didn't know at all and who didn't know me would say something like this about me. Mm, but to come to the more positive side now, in how I personally perceive how our field developed in the last years, I would say that the awareness about those issues of underrepresented groups in general has been raised a lot. So it's much more present in calls for papers, for example, or in the composition of speakers at a conference. The change will of course not happen by tomorrow, but I see that there's the will to address these issues. So I don't know if I would say in my area of research at least um, that it has a direct impact on the results, because logic is a yeah, rather abstract and theoretical topic, but I think that in a diverse research environment, it will be easier for people to overcome biases, to reevaluate established views. And this kind of being forced to question the status quo is something that I would imagine in general to be positive grounds for research. Last but not least, my advice is to not let yourself be discouraged by a bad experience. Those might come, but as far as possible, Try to ignore those so that they don't gain more power over you than they should. Try to focus on the positive experiences instead, in, which in my case at least definitely outweigh the negative ones.